do you see the uh, concern about missiles, uh, the concern about a missile shield uh, being something that reinforces then the China-North Korea relationship, uh, looking at it from, from a, a larger strategic vantage? Uh, or do you think it's something that is uh, not played out quite that much? One of the uh, interesting developments in China is the growth of different interest groups uh, and different interest groups vis-a-vis interest groups -vis relations with North Korea and also relations with uh, the United States. Uh, so when we see things like the uh, North Korean uh, missile threats and the threat to attack the United States with nuclear weapons uh, resulting in the U.S. Uh, beefing up their interceptors, there are currently 30. Now there are plans to beef them up to 44, uh, those stationed in California and Alaska. Uh, that type of response from the United States is not viewed in, uh, I think, key groups in China as geared towards the North Korean threat. The North Korean threat is seen as serious, but not at that capability to invoke that type of response. So again, it feeds into uh, key groups' fear of this containment of the C word here. Uh, and with that, uh, there is the concern that North Korea is causing problems that directly put the United States and China collision course. Mm -hmm. I think those separate groups in China tend to be the ones who see the importance of cooperation, especially with the United States, as they continue with the economic development on a sustainable basis. But there are other groups in China uh, that I think grow sympathetic in terms of the David and Goliath uh, relationship that they see between North Korea and the United States. And these type of responses coming from the United States as being disproportionate and contributing to even more uh, escalation of crises on, on the peninsula. So you have different narratives playing out on the Chinese side, which I think makes the managing of this particular set of crises more challenging than in the past.